Welcome to the ISAC Lab Reinforcement Learning Series, in which we will learn how to teach robots step by step. Before watching this series, you should already be familiar with the basics. I highly recommend watching my basic tutorial playlist. The series will consist of videos on how to manage the scene, two different workflows to choose from, and finally the training utilizing reinforcement learning algorithms. So from the basics, we've learned how to manually spawn assets and objects to interact with them. As reinforcement learning simulations can become quite complex, we introduced the interactive scene, which is a convenient interface for spawning prims and managing them in the simulation. The interactive scene consists of a configuration, which defines the setup of the simulation. Based on the setup, we can then clone, manage, or control the scene. It serves as the foundation for the manager-based and direct workflows introduced later. So let's take a look on how to create the interactive scene. At this point, I assume you already know how to set up and run the simulation, as well as watched my video on the cardpole articulation, which this script is utilizing. Okay, so now we're coming to the code. As usual, you can find the tutorial in the official documentation or at the shown path inside the repository. First, we want to launch the simulation with some parsed arguments. After, we can import all necessary modules, including the already predefined cardpole configuration. We start by defining the configuration for a cardpole simulation scene using the interactive scene config base class. Inside we define the configurations for a ground plane and light using the asset base CFG, which acts as a blueprint and will be created by the interactive scene call later. And finally, we set up the cardpole by using the cardpole CFG configuration. Inside the simulation, we can observe the ground plane and the light, as well as the robot spawning under the regular expression inside the X-forms. The next snippets were already covered on the previous tutorials, so I go over them very quickly. We define a simulation function, which takes in the simulation context and the entities from the interactive scene. After accessing the card pole, we then start the loop. Inside, we reset periodically with slight changes in the position and write the data to the simulation. Then, after resetting the state, we apply random forces to the joint to simulate movement. And finally, we step the simulation while updating buffers. And now coming to the main function, in which we apply configurations to the simulation context. Then configure the interactive cardpool scene with the specified number of environments and spacing. And finally reset and run the simulation. By passing the number of environments argument to the script, we can now simulate, for example, 32 cardpools, each spaced evenly at intervals of 2 meters. In this video, we learn how to create multiple cloned instances using the interactive scene which is key for efficient reinforcement learning.